Happy Friday. Wrapping up the empowerment point on the future of work redesigned compass. This week I've talked about empowerment, autonomy, and I want to talk, wrap up with trust. Because as I've said this week, unless there's trust, empowerment and autonomy will not exist. Leaders have to trust their employee to get on with the job, do the right thing, deliver on the outcomes. The employee has to trust the leader to be clear about what their expectations are, to be available when they need them for support or guidance or to remove obstacles. And they need to trust that their leader will let them get on with the job. There is no micromanagement. When there's micromanagement, the boss is screaming, I do not trust you. Do it my way or the highway. So trust is at the foundation of everything in the organisational culture that has to be trust. And when we have the trust conversation, we talk about psychological safety. Trust that I will not be reprimanded or there will be reprisals for me speaking out and saying what I think or challenging or questioning, whatever it might be. But trust is also about embracing setbacks. So that employees know that if things don't go as expected, that don't go right, that that is okay because they were doing the best they could and they had the right intentions. Most people do not get up in the morning and go, I'm gonna break something today and cause problems. They wanna do the best job that they can. And that's the, the leader trusting the employee to do that and believing in them and having confidence. So when things don't go as expected, we embrace that as a setback from which we learn. I talk about bounce forward. Don't bounce back from a setback, bounce forward. Having learnt from it is a learning experience. And when there's that trust that there is no blame, that this is the team and we are allowed to get things wrong, we're allowed to make mistakes and we'll be better as a result of it. I will talk to you next week. Bye.